back. Uh, well, uh, uh, since President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi uh, came to office, uh, the Egyptian women uh, have um, uh, received uh, full support and unprecedented uh, support uh, from the president and uh, the state. Well, uh, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this phone with our dear guest, uh, Dr. Amira uh, Sabe, uh, management and self-development uh, expert. Good afternoon, Dr. Sabe. Good afternoon dear to you and to, to all your audience. Well, uh, Dr. Sabe, um, uh, to what extent have uh, the Egyptian women been able to uh, reach her goals uh, since President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi came to office uh, and supported the Egyptian women? Okay, let's go a little bit before that, since the revolution. Yes. We can say that starting the revolution, uh, the Egyptian women have played um, a vital role in political transformation by participating in the Egypt's uh, elections. Uh, women featured prominently in the June 30 movement of 2013 uh, and the subsequent constitutional ref uh, reform, uh, um, uh, uh, referendum of 2014 and the election of Abdel Fattah al Sisi in 2014. So women started to say or to feel that now is the time to evaluate their status or the status of the Egyptian women during Sisi's uh, reign compared to the years following the revolution and examine whether there was a real shift in the Egyptian authority approach toward women. If we are going to analyze this shift, we can say that, um, yes, now women status during Sisi's era compared to what is before. Um, women started to have the right to rule. They started to have the empowerment to appear in different um, aspects, in different ministries. Uh, starting 2014, the, the women's role has been enhanced. Um, we can say that women started to feel that they are capable of running places. They are born to be leaders. Uh, they are equal to men. And uh, um, laws started to be issued to develop women's place in the uh, economic and the uh, political life. Yes. Uh, we can say that um, uh, starting 2014, um, um, uh, women are not victims. Women are having big roles. They are appearing in different uh, shows, in different uh, conferences. They started to put the rules in different places in the country. They started to have the rules in the economic life and the political life. So yes, we can say now that women started to be a vital, proactive person uh, starting Sisi's uh, reign uh, to Egypt. Yes, uh, Dr. Seb, um, uh, what were uh, the um, uh, fields that, that uh, the Egyptian uh, women have uh, been um, uh, successful in? Uh, like, for example, uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi paved the way for uh, uh, women uh, to be uh, judges, for example. Uh, and before uh, this, uh, the women, uh, Egyptian women became uh, ministers. So uh, give us uh, an idea about this, please. We can say now that, which is very uh, strange to the Egyptian community, women started to appear in the economic life. They started to run ministers that deal with foreign affairs, that deal with foreign trade. So um, the Egyptian women started to play a big role in the economic um, life. They started to play a big role uh, in the um, uh, political life. They started to play a big role in the court. All these things, these three things mainly, were, all, were, were also kept, were always kept for men. They were always kept just for the male to run. But now we can say that women are having are running ministers of foreign affairs, ministers of trade, ministers of um, uh, that is related to the economy, and they started to have a big role even in the education. They started to have big, big role in all the initiatives the political initiatives and social initiatives by the government, uh, things like Haya Karima, things like all the initiatives that are empower, that empowering the low um, uh, government rates or the undeveloped government rates. So we can say that women now in the economic life, in the, in the, um, in the political life, yes, they are playing a very big role um, and we started to see results. Uh, women um, are very good to uh, deal with uh, people who are in rural areas. Uh, if we analyze now the, the development that is happening in these areas, we can find that all the ones behind this are the, the women, because they feel 
they feel the emotions of the poor people more than men. They can give a hand. They are more patient. So we can say that women played an extremely big role in the economic uh, life, in the awareness, especially of the people in the undeveloped governorates. And now they are taking hands with them to take them to city life, to, to be part of the economic and political life in general. Yes, uh, Dr. Sabe, uh, what did President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi offer uh, to the Egyptian women? Uh, like, for example, uh, that uh, the President have allocated a special year to be the year of uh, woman, the Egyptian uh, woman. What could you uh, say about uh, what the President have offered to the Egyptian women? One of the things that uh, 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 His Excellency offered to women um, is the change or the transformation in, in, in some of the rules and policies and laws that help in um, diminishing all the, the old pleasure. For example, transforming gender norms so that women are accepted as less women and effective leaders. Uh, we can say that now women, um, uh, um, there are no gender stereotypes or discriminatory norms that work to exclude women from participating in public life. This pillar is concerned with the status status of women and community perceptions of women's participation in public life shaped by political leaders and the media. Uh, we can also say that the uh, CC uh, was behind the designing and implementing robust legal frameworks and administrative arrangements that facilitate women's participation at all levels. There was a big, strong electoral and po policy framework uh, that include reforms to constitutions, gender equality laws, or party status and policy actions, such as setting numerical targets for women in leadership positions with temporary special measures and reforming party status. This, this dimension reflects the need to entrench legal standards and women's right to political participation as stipulated in, numer in numerous uh, international conventions and resolutions. This also was after extending the pool of qualified and capable women to run for elections, and this pillar is concerned with the range of activities that aim to increase the supply of qualified women candidates by supporting them in overcoming a range of barriers, social, financial, psychological, and political, in nomination as prospective electoral candidates. Uh, the activities um, uh, that uh, uh, CC are, uh, is behind are initiating programs that boost women's confidence and capacity to lead, enhancing their campaign strategies and techniques and promoting um, uh, linkages with supportive civil society organizations. CC was also supporting leaders in political institutes, in institutions, including parliament, political parties, uh, uh, electoral management bodies, and to attract, promote, and retain women leaders and highlight the constructive contribution that may make uh, uh, to decision making. So all these things, all these rules, all these uh, policies, all these um, norms were just put during the era of Abdel Fattah al And now we can see that uh, uh, women are members, bigger number of women are members of the parliament. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are playing a big role in the academic. Uh, they are think tanks that monitor the political life. So women have become think tanks that run, and this was by the empowerment of the National Council of Women that is supported by Abdel Fattah al -Sisi. Yes, uh, Dr. Sebe, also uh, the president uh, was keen on the health of the Egyptian women. There were uh, uh, several initiatives that was uh, launched by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi spe made especially for the Egyptian women, like for example the uh, initiative of uh, the um, uh, depicting the early detection of the uh, breast cancer for women and other initiatives for the health of Egyptian women. How did you uh, read this? Okay, uh, definitely the, the, the initiative for the women's health, uh, this was a big thing that, um, this was a big part of the state's uh, keenness on maintaining healthy households and society at large. Uh, the President's Egyptian Women Health Initiative was launched to promote the health of Egyptian women, and uh, uh, women were targeted in particular as a bracket in dire need of health education and care. Uh, the WHO statistics have uh, revealed the high incidence of breast cancer among uh, Egyptian women, which constitutes 35 percent of all women uh, cancer cases. So this initiative was really a big um, 
uh, support by uh, CC. Um, we can say other um, 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 initiatives like the ones that we started in, again, in the governorate, the ones that give money to, uh, uh, to women uh, to start new projects and to uh, teach them how to run these uh, projects. Now we have thousands thousands of families who started small businesses in uh, the countryside that make them rely on their own income to feed their families, uh, especially for the, for the women who lost their husbands, who have no other earning uh, uh, resource. So this was an initiative run by a community of ladies supported by uh, uh, CC and the government to, uh, to be held in the uh, rural areas. And now uh, we can see a lot of development, a lot of income is helping these women, um, which helps uh, in the economic class of Egypt in general. Yes, uh, I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you also for your valuable information, Dr. Uh, Amira Sabe, uh, Management and Self-Development Expert. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we're with the segment of uh, the fashion, and uh, today uh, we are going uh, to see uh, the uh, fashion segment on the uh, modest uh, swimming uh, suits uh, that suits the uh, veiled women uh, or women uh, who would not like to uh, the skin to be exposed to the sun. Uh, we are going to watch the following segment uh, in uh, the uh, fashion uh, about the uh, burkini or uh, the modest uh, swimming suit. 